Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we are from class AS114382 would like to present about Yakult products. But before that, we want to introduce our first. My name is Muhammad Amiru Ashraf bin Muhammad Nawai. My name is Nura Fiza binti Zaha. My name is Nur Shafina binti Samilan. My name is Hanis Nadila binti Mustafa. Alright, now I will tell you a little bit about history of Yakul company. Yakul founder Minoru Shirota is a doctor of medicine and began his medical studies in 1921 at Kyoto Imperial University. At the time, Japan had yet to achieve economic prosperity and unsanitary condition caused large numbers of children to die of infectious disease. Dr. Shirota aimed to prevent disease rather than treating disease. The history of Yakult takes us back to the early 1930s in Japan when scientist Dr. Minoru Shirota selected and cultivated the Lactobacillus case Shirota. It took Dr. Shirota another five years of research to find the right food medium for Lactobacillus case Shirota bacteria. In 1935, the first bottle of Yakult, a fermented milk-based drink, was produced in glass bottles. The nurse that worked for Dr. Minoru Shirota, later referred to as Yakult Ladies, started distributing Yakult to customers. Then, I would like to go through the overview and background of Yakult products. Yakult is the world's leading probiotic beverage created in Japan in 1935. And today, Yakult is sold in 39 countries around the world. In 1930, Dr. Minoru Shirota found a microorganism, Lactobacillus case strain Shirota. This is the starter for the successful products of Yakult. Dr. Shirota discovered that Lactobacilli were effective in suppressing harmful bacteria within the intestine. In 1935, Yakult is manufactured and introduced to the market in Japan. And in 1938, Yakult is registered as a trademark. It is important to exclusively identify the source of or origin of products. And also in 1955, Yakult Honsha Company was founded in Tokyo, Japan. And in 1963, Yakult Lady Home Delivery begins. It also allowed the women to earn money from the delivery. And in 1964, Yakult Company at Taiwan opens. This is the first overseas business started and became more nurturous. In 1967, Yakult Central Institute for Microbiological Research is established in Kunitachi, Tokyo. It is important for doing research and development of food, pharmaceuticals, and cosmetics that utilize beneficial microorganisms. In 1968, the new iconic Yakult plastic bottle is launched, which replaced the glass bottle used before. And in 1994, the first European factory was founded in the Netherlands, which means it start expanded to Europe country. And in 1998, Yakult is acknowledged by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare as a food for specified health usage or cause as for sure. This recognition is meaningful to acknowledge Yakult as beneficial food for consumer health. In, in 2003, Yakult is officially established in our country, Malaysia. Yakult became popular because it contains the probiotic bacteria known as Shirota strain, with over 30 billion live Shirota strain in each bottle. Yakult has among the highest concentration of probiotics compared to other products. In 2005, the Yakult European Research Center for Microbiology is set up in Belgium country. And in 2008, Yakult Lady Door to Door Home Delivery Service is launched in Malaysia. They also can generate income and 
at the same time contribute to the health and happiness of every person. And in 2012, lactobacillus casestrian shirota affirmed GRASP, which means generally recognized as safe status by FDA. So you should not worry when Yakult is product is totally safe for consumption. And to, in 2013, Yakult business is expanded to East Malaysia. Today, we can see Yakult products everywhere at supermarket in Malaysia, even in grocery store. Then I will pass this presentation to the next presenter, Hanis Nabila. Okay, thank you, Amiru. Okay, uh, we start with okay first to study how Yakult processing and manufacturing in food industry. Second, to study about supply chain between suppliers and consumers. Third, to study about the problem of Yakult company having well conduct the product. Okay, I pass to the next presenter. Thank you, Hanis. Okay, now let me continue with one stage of food product, which is food, um, which is the manufacturing and process of making Yakult. As we know, Yakult is a fermented milk and the world premium probiotic drink that created by Dr. Shirota to help people to avoid sickness rather than treating disease after they occur. Yakult have their own manufacturing factory to produce their probiotic beverage and main ingredient. And the main ingredient is probiotic in the probiotic dairy beverage, like Lactobacillus cassis trinchirata, is carefully cultured and tested in Yakult own laboratory. And another ingredient that contained in Yakult are water, skim milk, glucose, fructose syrup, sucrose, sugar, maltodextrin, flavoring, and gluten free. In other words, Yakult does not really on outsider to get their to get their main raw material, but they produce it themselves in their own laboratory and factory. In a nutshell, Yakult is immune with the power of supplier as they having few supplier instead of really on one supplier. So how to make Yakult? First of all, the skim milk powder is dissolved in hot water of 50 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius in the dissolving tank to make a milk solution. Then, from the dissolving tank, the mixed solution is heat sterilized before it is transferred to the culture tank. It will then be cooled to 37 degrees Celsius. The culture starter, Lactobacillus cassis strinchirota, from the seed tank will be added into the tank. The solution is allowed to ferment until the number of Lactobacillus cassis strinchirota reach an ideal concentration. The solution will change into curd from known as culture base. Next, the concentrated Yakult will be transferred to a mixing tank and, and diluted with the sterilized water. Natural flavors and permitted coloring will be added at this stage for flavored Yakult and the dilute mixture will then be transferred to the filling tank. Next, the plastic bottles are produced by the molding machine at the speed of 7,000 bottles per hour. These bottles, which are made of good grade polystyrene, are transported by the clean air, clean air blower through a duct to the storage tank. Next, empty bottles are released on the bottle storage tank into a large cellular selector which place the bottles in an in an upright position before being sent in sent to the printing machine. The printing machine will print Yakut logo with the product information on the empty bottles using instant instant dry red ink. Next, the printed bottle will be sent to the filling machine, which has the capacity to fill 30,000 bottles per a bottle with 100 ml Yakult per hour. At this stage, the bottles are kept and sealed with an aluminum foil that has the use by date printed. Next, the finally Yakult will sort in single bottles or in pack of five bottles that is shrink wrap. The single bottles are packed into a crate of 100 bottles of the same flavors. While this five bottle pack Yakult will also be loaded into a crate. All crates containing Yakult will be transported to the cool room by the conveyor belt. 
Uh, next, the finished product are stored at temperature of 50 degrees Celsius to ensure they will always remain at the best, condi best condition whilst awaiting delivery for distribution. And finally, Yakut store in the cool room will, all, will now be ready for delivery by refrigerated drug for distribution to the following sources, which the first one is direct direct sale, which consists of supermarket, retails and convenience store, vending machines, school and export to the other country. And the second one is home delivery, which is a door-to-door -door delivery, mostly in the public housing estate and supported by the Yaku agent. That's all for me. Now I pass to the next presenter. Thank you, Shafina. For the next one is a problem. For the problem, I choose the two problems, which is less product choice for customers in terms of flavor. And the second one is storage difficulty. For the first problem, uh, the first weakness of Yakut is lack choice of flavors. There are only two flavors available which are Yakut S and Yakut S Lite. Unlike its competitors such as Vitagen and Nutrigen, these two brands come up with products with variety of flavors which will attract more people to buy their product. As Malaysia is a multiracial country, different races of people have different tastes. Thus, Malaysians usually prefer to choose their drink from a variety of flavors such as like apple, grape, oh, and so on. Why does Yakut comes in only one flavor? As a healthy drink, Yakut only contains the ingredient necessary to deliver the live Yakut bacteria into our intestine. So Yakut does not contain any unnecessary additive such as coloring substance. Different flavors usually require you to add, to add in coloring and preservative. And the second one, Uh, second problem is storage difficulty. The product are fermented milk drink which contain active bacteria under low temperature. However, if the temperature increase, the bacteria will eventually become inactive that will return the taste so sour. This is because the bacteria will begin to make lactic acid when the temperature drops. Therefore, refrigerators are necessary. However, consumers who do not own a refrigerator will find it a problem. By the way, it will also lead to a storage difficulty for retailer outlets with little storage capacity as they still have other product brands they need to keep. This will cause an imbalance of stock availability during different time of outlet. This problem also influence consumers' purchase intention that does not have a refrigerator. How long can Yakut be keep after taking out from the fridge? It is not a problem to keep Yakut outside of the fridge for a while. Even up to 4 until 8 hours, the Yakut bacteria will start to become active at temperature between 15 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius and will slowly begin to die after that as they run out of nutrients to stay alive. That's all for me. I will pass to Anis Nabila back. Okay, for last one, for conclusion, Yakut is one of healthy food. As we know, it created from a strain of lactic acid bacteria that is critical to human health, especially for our intestine. The, benefit, the Yakut benefits towards our intestine is, as we know, Shirota's strain is able to maintain the balance between harmful and beneficial bacteria in the intestine regulate bowel movement, reduce constipation and diarrhea, reduce body toxin, and to, use, and to boost immune function to reduce the risk of cancer. Next, the ideal reasons that have been applied contributes mainly benefit to Yakut management. The Shirota reason, uh, which is firstly preventive medicine, intensive 
should be placed on preventing illness rather than on treating illness once we develop. Second, a healthy instance in a fact leads to a long life. Human beings take in a nutrition to their intestine. Making the intestine strong leads to a healthy and long life. Lastly, a price anyone can afford. The goal of providing as many people as possible with easy access to that person that you live, you say strains your task, which protects the intestine. It's a delicious, fibrotic, fermented milk drink that contains Yakult is fibrotic, lactobase in the station strain, Shirota, also known as LCS. The daily consumption of Yakult has improved discussion, discussion, and health build immunity. So, a health discussion system is a key to good health and longevity. That's all. Thank you.